I have the distinct pleasure of introducing our next um, award recipient, Nada Wharton. Uh, Nada uh, is a longtime donor of the Center for Sex Education, the Center for Family Life Education before, and also Planned Parenthood of Central and Greater Northern New Jersey. Uh, Nada served on the board of our Planned Parenthood affiliate. Uh, she also was one of the key people who launched an endowment uh, to ensure that sex education would always be available. Uh, and the endowment is called the Ease Endowment, ensuring access to sexuality education. Uh, to, launch the, to launch the initiative, to launch the endowment, Nada hosted the most amazing party that I have ever been to back in, was it 2002, 2003? <laughs> so it was, it was a few months ago, um, <clears throat> and, uh, and, and her friends came out, and the only thing that she asked is, you know, don't bring me a birthday present, make a donation to, uh, to the center, and, and, and did a great deal of fundraising that way. It was extremely generous. Over the last few years, as my role has changed from one of being an author uh, and running, running both uh, uh, a semi-national program and also directing the community educators, uh, my, my role at the center has changed and I've become more of an executive director, uh, which involves fundraising. So, you know, when, when I made an ask yesterday, that was like me trying on my new shoes. Um, and if I did a good job, the way that you could show your appreciation, <laughs> that my skills are development, the way that I could take it, you know, I'm, I'm not kidding. No, I was going to say I'm kidding, I'm not kidding. Um, but, uh, but one of my first tasks was to begin meeting with uh, some of our key donors and having, having lunch. And, um, and, and Nada and I had a, a lunch. This was my first um, lunch meeting with a donor, my very first one. And we had a three-hour lunch. And... During the entire time, I had the most fascinating conversation learning about Nada, learning about her family, and I had no point of reference. Are lunches supposed to go on for three hours? I had no idea. We just kept on. And after three hours, Nada said, okay, so you're going to ask? And I said, ask what? And I, and I really completely forgot that this was uh, you know, a, a donor engagement meeting because I was genuinely mesmerized by our conversation. And, uh, and every conversation, so, so the outcome of that was, uh, I don't know, what do you want me to ask? <laughs> I never made an ask. Um, but, but every subsequent conversation, every telephone conversation is so genuine. This is so, someone who is so generous and so giving and so committed and so passionate about sexuality education and the importance of it uh, and such a big supporter of the work that we do. So I hope that you will give me, a, uh, give me, give Nada a big round of applause in supporting the work that we do in sexuality education. Well, I give good lunch, but I, <laughs> I don't know about public speaking is not my thing. I'll be very, very brief and say that um, I think Bill was extremely new to his position in the education department when I joined the board, I think a year or two. You were a year or two ahead of me. And um, he uh, came to a board meeting early on in my tenure on the board and gave us some quizzes <laughs> about um, outer course and various terms that I'd never heard of. I'd never heard of a dental dam. And it kind of went on from there. He is, as you all know, a marvelous editor, a marvelous writer, and um, just made everything about sexuality education seem very, very important. And um, I immediately was engrossed in being the liaison from the board of the Planned Parenthood affiliate I was on, 
and uh, became uh, involved in choosing, assessing educational materials, videos, books, pamphlets, etc. And when I left the board, I continued to be very engaged by Bill and his activities, and uh, I have been hearing from Bill for many years that I should come to one of these conferences, and this is the first one I've attended, and I'm already kicking myself, because as soon as I arrived here, I heard an, and felt an energy in the building that uh, has only been reinforced by the workshops I've attended and the people I've met, and the people I've listened to interacting with one another. And I am, Bill, you're going to have to come and ask again. <laughs> um, I just, I hope that you're all very proud of yourselves and of one another. I have never been in such an atmosphere of energy and openness and acceptance of empathy. I am thrilled by the diversity here of every sort and the inclusiveness um, that ultimately will lead to the appropriate justice. Uh, um, there's a lot going on the past two weeks about justice. I think the kind of empathy that I have found in every person I've met here, no matter what they are particularly focused on, is what will really lead to a sense of, of humanity in this country and ultimately in the world. And I know that sounds a little grandiose, but we're talking about one of the most basic things to all people all over the world and understanding and accepting all the infinite variations of it. And you guys embody that more than any other organization, group, gathering of people I have ever attended. And I've been involved in a fair number of issues over the years. And you guys have my total loyalty and congratulations to all of you. I am so proud to be in any way involved with you, even if I have to pay for it. <laughs> So thank you very much and thank you, Bill. <laughs>